G'day, Lockie here. So to continue in this SDO series, I wanted to walk through uh, egress traffic. So one of the things you'll come to find when playing with uh, Istio is that when you deploy services onto the Istio mesh, they don't have access by default uh, to external services or URLs outside of the Istio mesh. And this is due to um, IP tables and the way they're written in um, using uh, the init containers that I've mentioned before. So one of the things you have to do is you have to define uh, how your traffic would egress the mesh. Now this is fairly straightforward. I'll keep this fairly lightweight, this demo, um, and let's get into it. I've, again, you can follow along. I'm just kicking along with the docs here and providing just a little bit of explanation around what exactly is going on here. Um, so popping over to my little script here, I'm going to deploy onto the Kubernetes cluster the sleep application and there's a deployment and a service, fairly straightforward. Um, it's just something I want to run curl in. So if I um, get inside this container and try to get to the internet, you'll see that I, I cannot indeed do that. So let me just skip over and show you that that is the case. Um, so here I'm going to export and exec inside that pod and do a curl www. Okay, so I cannot actually get to www.google.com and now we're going to go into how we might go about making that happen. So first I'm going to define a Kubernetes service here. This is going to call, uh, be called external bin and again these are just standard Kubernetes resources. It has an external name with an external um, URL here and a port. So it's very important to set that port. Um, egress at the moment supports HTTP and HTTPS only. So let me go ahead and create that service. Um, and this is a HTTP service, it's called external bin. And I'm gonna create a secure Google external service um, which is gonna push through to port 443 at www.google.com. So I've got a HTTP and a HTTPS service. So now all I'm gonna do is go and get back inside that um, sleep container that I provisioned before and I'm gonna go um, do a curl. And what you can see is I've gone curl against that service name that I created before, which was called external bin, which maps through to httpbin.org, and I'm hitting the slash headers under it. So you can actually see that this has now been egressed through the egress pod that runs as part of the Istio service mesh. So I'm explicitly saying go through um, the Istio egress. Okay, and again, we will go over and do secure Google. Now the interesting thing about, oh, did I not copy them? Yeah, let's try again. I did not. Okay, so I've hit Google via that as well. Um, we've got a whole bunch of different things there to take a look at. But the interesting thing about this is I'm hitting it on HTTP on port 443, and that's actually HTTP to the um, egress pod, and then it's initiating the connection out via HTTPS to Google. Um, so something to, important to remember there. Now, let's say I just want this traffic not to go through the egress, um, but I still want to exit it. I can do that with an actual annotation here. Um, let me show you what I have here. Okay, so I could do an apply. I have it in my, my search history here. So when I created the sleep deployment service before, I'm using Istio CTL with Cube Inject, and I can pass in include IP ranges. And this is actually the pod IP range. Um, so anything destined, uh, sourced from this range, so any of the pods trying to get out, um, let me apply this, and then we'll talk about it, um, will not go through the egress. Um, but we're telling it, we're kind of putting a flag so that IP tables can get created and that this um, traffic can actually go out directly. So you can see here that um, it's a deployment, so I've updated the deployment, and Envoy should be now set up, um, and the IP tables rule should be set up not to go through the egress, like what, what was happening before. So let's wait for this, I should be able to go back and grab the source pod name and exec back in. It will be interesting to see if this, uh, it can't find it obviously because there's two labels matching from the terminating pod that was still there. Now we should be okay. 
And again, I'm going to pop back and just go and curl these same things. So now I shouldn't see any of the headers, and I do not. So I'm hitting that directly. And let's go and hit Google as well. But Google's going to say, oh, that's funny because I have nothing intercepting. The egress is not intercepting and changing to HTTPS. Right, and because I'm using that name, I need to do a specifier dash K. Okay, so now I've actually hit that. Um, but because I'm asking for this URL, it's, it's not happy. But, so I've demonstrated with egress what we can do here. So specify um, external services and then reference them by name. Or we can actually run and, and say, don't push these services through and rewrite them through the egress controller. So it's two different methods uh, that we can go through there. Um, but remember, you need to have egresses if any of the traffic needs to get off cluster. Um, so that's really what I wanted to highlight. And egresses are not a concept that's core to Kubernetes, but to Istio to getting on cluster with ingresses and off cluster, Istio cluster with egresses. This is kind of a new concept for those um, not familiar. So thanks for following along. I hope that was beneficial. Um, ask me any questions and uh, thanks for joining. Cheers. Bye.